Hey everyone, welcome back to I Dream of Homestead. I'm Josefina and today we are outside trying to beat the heat to plant roselle seeds in some grow bags. So if you've never had roselle, it is a type of hibiscus. And I actually have uh, videos from when I started my channel um, where I harvested and also processed and made some agua de jamaica, which is a traditional and super common tea that is served in Mexico. I love this drink so much. It is one of my absolute favorites. I love having it in the summertime, um, but I have learned through growing that this is actually something that you harvest in the fall. So I'm hoping that this year I can grow enough of these, I guess, I don't know if they're trees or bushes. I don't know what they're considered. They get pretty massive and they look like small trees that I can preserve enough to last me at least through until summertime. So let's get started on it. Last time that I planted something in grow bags, it was all of my berry bushes that I have lined up against the garden. I don't know if you guys can see them all. I currently already have four of these roselle plants growing. And so it'll be nice, like I mentioned in my last video, to be able to have this succession sowed so that I can stagger my harvest and not be overwhelmed with it. Because if you watch the video where I process these, it's quite a bit of work to break these down and dehydrate these to prepare for tea, but it is worth every bit of it. Um, so it'll be nice to get that break in between harvest with these. So like I said, the last time that I used grow bags, I did my berry bushes. And what I did that time was that I took some compost that I had left over and I mix things like perlite, um, you can use cocoa core or peat moss um, just to help it so that while it's in the grow bag, it won't pack that soil into the bag whenever it gets watered or it rains and making it really difficult for the roots to spread through. So I have here leftover compost. Um, the unfortunate thing is that while I did have this in um, this tarp, it has rained several times and so it's heavy and I can't pour it out of the tarp into the wheelbarrow. So I'm hoping that I will be able to mix these other ingredients in without tearing the tarp. But if I do, oh well. And the next thing I'm adding is some perlite. Um, all of this is going to help lighten up that soil, like I said, and then it's also going to help it retain the moisture because things in pots and in grow bags do dry out much faster than what you put in ground or in a raised bed. So this is gonna help so that I don't have my plants drying out on me too quickly. You know, when I do stuff like this in the garden, it honestly reminds me so much of cooking <laughs> and having to mix ingredients that I have these thoughts like, you know what? This is probably why I enjoy this so much. It's so much like cooking. For these plants, I have some seven gallon grow bags. I have them rolled down so that I can fill them with soil. I only have two of those left, but my other four hibiscus plants already are in those seven gallon ones. So for the rest, I have these 10 gallon. So I'll have six total of the seven gallon ones and then we'll see how much I end up getting for these 10 gallon bags. This one's filled up about three quarters of the way. So I'm gonna leave it like that and move on to the rest. And for the rest of this filling portion, I am going to let you guys see this and fast forward so that I can put on some music and jam out. You know, I thought I was recording more of that process of me filling the grow bags, but I got a phone call and it interrupted and I forgot to hit record again. <sighs> you guys, I promise you, I'm gonna save up enough money eventually to get a real camera for this so that I don't have to worry about phone calls in the middle of my recordings. <laughs> but I did get them all filled. Oh, I have a total of five of the 10 gallon grow bags and then two new of the seven gallon grow bags. And again, I have four in the garden. So that makes a total of six of the seven gallon. So I have 11 roselle plants that are gonna get to grow and harvest from, hopefully by October or November. The other one's October, these probably November, considering I started them significantly later. <sighs> but I'm so excited. 
So now it's time for seeds. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it definitely made it harder to mix in um, all that stuff with wet compost and then to have to fill it up just because it made it significantly heavier, but I did get it done. And instead of having to water it after I put the seeds in, it's already watered for me. So all I have to do is transfer it over to the spots that I want them in in the garden. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these seeds down now. I'm gonna water myself first though. All of the grow bags have their seeds and some of them I only planted one and then in the rest of them I planted two that way in case some of them didn't sprout I'd have backups in those and I can just thin them out whenever I need to and maybe by then I'll have some extra soil that I can plant the little extra seedlings into so now it's time to move these to the garden everything is in the garden now. I'm going to show you guys what everything looks like. I know it looks like I have the grow bags just kind of scattered everywhere, but um, this weekend I'm going to be working on putting in tea posts and then putting in some deer netting because I at the moment cannot do like some legit fencing in here and so deer netting is going to have to hold me over. Um, so what I've done is kind of like lined up where the fence is going to be so they're on the inside and then the rest of these are just kind of running through the middle of it but for the new bags I did fold over the top that way the sun gets to hit it without the walls of this creating a shadow over it and I'm going to show you guys these are the ones that I planted um, almost a month ago and I put two seeds in each of these bags and both sprouted so I thinned it out and put one over here this is growing slower than the other one is because it's gonna get stunted when you first pull it out like that because you're disturbing the roots and just disturbing all of its growth. So it is gonna be slower than the original one that got put in, but it is still gonna grow. Um, and then once it starts taking off, you guys, these things take off like crazy. Last year when I planted some, I put them in the raised beds and <laughs> that was not a good thing because it ended up overshadowing all of the things. You guys, these bugs right here are the bane of my existence. Um, these are the leaf-footed bugs. They destroyed my tomatillos last year and there's already one back So I'm gonna go get a glove and squish this little sucker last year to deal with that issue I was literally having to take my scissors and just cut them right where they were And I left what I cut so that all the other ones could see what would happen to them if they would mess with my garden But they took out my tomatillo plants And I'm not gonna let them do that this year. So die you evil heathen Ugh. I killed it those things smell terrible. Since I've got you guys out here and we're already doing work, I'm gonna go ahead and put my straw down over my raised beds. That way it helps me to not have to water as often because it's retaining all that moisture in the soil by blocking it out from being able to evaporate, insulating everything in there, and making my life easier with the weeds too. That is it. I finished everything. I'm all done. 
that took me about two hours from start to finish probably would have taken me less had I not been recording but that's okay with me because I want to take you guys along on this journey I am exhausted there are some things I want to water but it's 1130 I haven't had breakfast and it's getting really hot um, it is currently 87 degrees at 1130 in the morning but our heat index because of humidity and the Sun usually is about 10 degrees higher with the feels like so technically it already feels like it's almost 100 degrees out here and it's only gonna get hotter so I'm gonna hold off on doing anything else until evening when the Sun starts to set but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and to show me some support please share any of my videos with your friends and family if you haven't already I hope that you're willing to hit that subscribe button and stick around for a while on my journey to becoming a homesteader I'll see you guys in the next one